of the techniques that we use mainly is the uh, is the light fabrication area where we uh, the initially design the body. It's made out of a uh, 16 gauge material where we grab some tin. We actually formed the body style of a tin, what we wanted. Uh, the wings uh, is made out of uh, tubing uh, that we've got here. And then each individual piece is actually cut and then tack together and then try kind of form of a webbing because when you look at the dragonfly you see all the lines going across through the uh, to the wings itself and we're trying to have the same image going across and if you notice the dragonfly it doesn't have the same pattern on the wings so we're trying to change the pattern as we went along and then we came up with uh, one or two came from the idea well, why don't we put the arch hospice in the actual wing itself so kind of okay well so then we redesigned it again that we're able to put the arch and then the hospice in in the actual bottom of the wings itself that we've got and then we wanted to give uh, like a, a, a skin effect mm -hmm. so we took a, a mesh screen and then we kind of formed a mesh screen around it and you know spot welded it all over so it would stay into place because and we cut all the individual pipe, we beveled them, and we did uh, a, a, a seam well, and then we just grounded it flush to make it look like it's the wing, the, the tail actually would, can move in, yeah. some, in some direction yes. that we had there. Right. And then we came up, then we put the leg, the leg is made out of uh, a half inch round iron, okay. and then we kind of uh, had a pattern, so we, what it looks like, so we went on, uh, we Googled a dragonfly, we kind of blown it up, and see how the legs are actually formed and then we're able to bend the legs as close as possible to what it actually looks like and then able to weld them on the, on the actual body itself. Then we needed to create a stand so we kind of said okay well pretend it's going to be landing on the branch so we took a piece of pipe and then we bent the pipe to the curvature that we were looking at right. and then from there well we wanted to add some leaves and then you can see we had bent some sheet metal against uh, 16 gauge material and then bent it in the center and kind of arched it out in each direction showing that you know it was part of the, the bottom of the tree or a branch that we had over here. Wow. And the eyes, the, the head, the head is uh, pretty amazing. Yeah. That's the head sure. is actually a uh, six inch scheduled 80 pipe that okay. we had spare okay. and then we kind of cut it and shaped it to give it that effect and here we had some spare aluminum um, screen that we used on another job that we did before and kind of formed it and bended it and uh, inside and it's all bolted together to make it look like, because when you look at a dragonfly, it's got like thousand little eyes. Nice. So each little hole that we have, we want to represent that little surface uh, that we had in there. And then we put a little beak Mm -hmm. <laughs> at the end at the same time to show mm -hmm. the actual dragonfly itself.